Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we're gonna talk about some new news about the last banner and uh, concomitantly about the upcoming Valentine's Day event. So, we didn't get some um, confirmations in regards to when the last banner is going to be if it's going to be together with the vr9 silas 10x and so on and so forth most of our i don't know intake of information was from leaks and <laughs> time travelers as some people in the community like to call people that leak this type of information but today i'm going to talk about why i think it's going to be on wednesday on valentine's day and um, why I think it's going to be both Silas uh, and Vierna 10x and the last banner together with Arrogance. Hey guys, uh, as I was editing the vi this video, Moonton actually released another announcement hyping up last so i think this is further proof that they are going to start the last banner on wednesday because they have been teasing us over and over again without actually releasing official information but here it is salute commanders the nightmare council is about to welcome a fighter who exudes a dangerous charm lust the lashes of lust possesses but potent magic those whipped by her may either succumb to ecstatic agony or pant and flush swept up by untamed desire commanders please join us in admiring these hero illustrations and observing her elegance the all-new nightmare council hero last will soon arrive in the limited time invocation of oath events so we have the name of the current uh, the current invo the current summoning event multi-strike attacks will subject our your enemies to humiliation and whipping uh, while rage restoration keeps your team's enthusiasm high won't you come and have some fun here is the link to enter into the epic world of watch of friends and is the link to their game down below so yeah this is the picture i th find it amazing i can't wait to pull for her and yeah back to the video so for those that don't know in uh, in during the valentine's day uh, celebration event we are going to have a last banner that's going to be a 250 guarantee for lust which is an amazing hero together with um, a 10x for arrogance it's going to be a, on the same banner what the 250 guarantee means uh, means that it means that if you reach 250 summons without getting lust uh, you're going to guarantee getting lust in the 250th summon so besides being a guarantee she's also limited meaning that you won't be able to get her any other way in the future most probably um, and uh, you're also going to be able to get last uh, with to get arrogance with uh, besides last arrogance and last have a bond skill so that's amazing that's insane and silas the supposed hero in the second banner um, window together with verna is one of the greatest marksmen in the game so one of the best dps marksman piercer uh, that's out there so that's going to be amazing so why am i saying that uh, let me just quickly put on some gear raid 3 auto fights um why am i saying that well i'm saying that because um they've posted some uh, interesting uh, stuff on the discord channel moonton that is um so let me get into that as well so as you can see there's some uh, some me a message here it says salute salute commanders today we present to you an anal analysis of the characteristics of arrogance and last spawn skill so why is this important besides the information and getting a better understanding of their bond skill it's interesting and important because right before the salazar banner that was this weekend uh, you can clearly see that the day before or a few days before he a day uh, a day before they did the same type of message for salazar's and kineza's um bond skills so afterwards they've presented the this little um this little announcement about the um, weekly banner the weekly 10x for salazar and kineza and afterwards 
yesterday, they've presented the same type of message, but with Silas's and Vierna's bond skill. So, an in-depth analysis of Silas and Vierna's bond skills for us. So, um, uh, that's going to be interesting, right? That's interesting. That Does that mean that uh, they are going to put Silas and Vierna on a 10x together with uh, Lust and Arrogance? I think so. I think so, because I highly doubt they put out this important gameplay information for two heroes just because they are getting a skin. I think they are hyping up some uh, information for people that aren't aware and uh, they are trying to get some people um, and attract some people towards these two heroes so they might pull for them. So this is another reason why and to further uh, prove that they've also did the same type of message today but for lust and arrogance spawn skill as I previously stated so I would be very very surprised if uh, they um, I will be very surprised if they don't uh, don't put lust and uh, Silas's banners together on the same day on the Valentine's Day uh, in between those messages you probably see the skin shard assembly event and the uh, skin shard assembly calendar for uh, Silas in case you don't know, I've had a video talking about Silas's uh, skin and how you're going to get, be able to get it for free by gathering those skill shards. But another and the ultimate proof for the um, banners being put together on Valentine's Day is this spiritual altar here. So you see a spiritual altar being present starting Wednesday up until Sunday. So that's pretty insane. That's going to be the longest spiritual spiritual altar that I've seen. And I think it is present in this format is uh, specifically because Lust and Silas's banners are going to be there together. And people are going to go nuts, are going to summon a lot, and so will I. With this information in mind, just know that I pre I'm going to prepare a pretty insane video. Um, I'm gonna summon I think uh, I think I'm gonna summon for about 700 or even more summons I'm gonna summon I think for both last banner uh, last banner and Silas banner uh, right now I only have Virna and I don't have arrogance and uh, Silas so if everything goes well in the future uh, week with the event and the banner in the yeah the banners my account is going to improve insanely much. It's going to have a bunch of improvement. I'm going to be able to complete a bunch of content. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. I want to share that with you. I uh, will create the video and I want you guys to prepare for that. I'm, I'm very excited. And uh, in anticipation for the next week's event, I want you to make sure to um, watch out a little bit of, uh, of my videos that uh, specifically aim at helping you prepare for this event. I will have in the description below a li uh, link to the um, videos that will help you uh, summon for the rest of the way there, uh, save summons for the rest of the way there. Um, I have a video that kind of is going to teach you how to efficiently save some, uh, some summons um, as a uh, low spender but also as a free to play um, free to play account i also have a video in which i discuss the dilemma in which should you summon between lust or silas who would you summon for uh, and why and i also have a video in which i explain for people that have 400 plus uh, summons how they can abuse quote unquote the system in order to get more legendaries and receive the most out of your of your banner pools so as you can see i have quite a bit of summons here uh, compiled together with the amount of extra diamonds that i'm going to get by summoning this amount uh, i think i'm going to have close to 800 summons so i'm very very excited for the weeks to come uh, i also have 16 um, legendary summoning crystals and for a future ancient summoning event i'm going to have uh, 55 ancient summoning crystals um, probably if i feel like it i'm going to buy more it depends on uh, what happens during the summoning session and um, 
yeah that's pretty much it i'm going to link the videos down below so you can prepare for the upcoming week if you have any questions or if you would like me to prepare a, an, i don't know another video detailing any any answers for any questions that you might have make me uh, let me know in the comments below um make sure to like subscribe uh, throw a little bit of uh, excitement out there as well. Tell me how many summons you've saved up for last in the comments below. I'm responding to every single comment I see. This has been Andy, Event Horizon Gaming. Bye-bye. Mm,